good morning my dear students and welcome to big data analytics class so these are the course outcomes which you are seeing from unit 1 to unit 4 and uh, these are the four uh, course outcomes we are going to achieve after completing the five units so we are going to start the fifth unit that is about hive so these are the contents we are going to see in this course that is called as applying structure to hadoop with hive getting started with apache hive examining the hive clients and we are going to see the data types and we are going to create manage databases and tables and we are going to do the manipulation with the hive data and after that we are going to perform the query analysis using the hive data so after learning the hive you are going to see you are going to achieve these outcomes that is nothing but understanding the hive architecture and modes of operations and we are going to able to create databases on hive environment so at the end of the fifth unit you are going to achieve these two outcomes so in today's topic we are going to see these topics that is called as what is hive story of hive from facebook to apache where to use hive and what are the advantages of the hive so let us start now what is a hive in a simple thing apache hive is a data warehouse system built on top of the hadoop apache hive is a data warehouse system which is built on top of the hadoop and it is used for analyzing structured and semi structured data so i repeat it once again apache hive is a data warehousing system built on top of hadoop and is used for analyzing the structured and semi structured data so what it provides is it provides mechanism to project structure on to the data so that you can perform queries using the hive query language this is very important so how you are having a sql the same manner we have a hql that is called as a hive query language which is similar to the sql statements so internally what is going to happen is these h these hive query will be converted in the form of map reduce that means in the pig also we have seen that the pig commands will be internally converted in the form of a map reduce even in the hive query language also whatever the hive commands you are giving internally they will be converted in the form of a map and reduce so let us see what is hive in a short and sweet manner so apache hive is a data warehousing system which is built on the hadoop top of the hadoop and that is used for analyzing the structured and semi structured data and it is going to make use of hive query language to perform the queries and whenever you perform the queries it is going to be converted in the form of map reduce jobs so that is about the hive so what is hive is in a short and sweet manner you can understand it defines sql query language called as ql that is called as a hive query language and hive is a data warehousing infrastructure hive allows programmers to plug in custom mappers and reducers hive provides tools to enable easy data etls that is called as your uh, whatever the etl data are there or etl operations are there you can make use of hive so hive defines a sql like query language that is called as a hive query language hive defines the data warehousing infrastructure hive allows programmers to plug in mappers and reducers and hive provides a tool for the data etl operations so that is about the hive so this is very important part everybody is having a facebook so we have a facebook account so how the facebook is using the hive we have to see that means internally to perform the query operation facebook is making use of hive facebook is making use of hive so let us see the story of hive from facebook to apache story of hive 
from Facebook to Apache. So let us see, we are having a Facebook which is having more than 950 million users. It is having more than 950 million users, more than 500 terabytes per day, more than 70,000 queries per day, more than 300 million photos per day. These are all your content present the Facebook or job done at the Facebook. I repeat it once again, more than 950 million users, more than 500 terabytes per day, more than 70,000 queries per day, more than 300 million photos per day, which is not possible to perform by the RDBMS. So that was a challenge. What was the challenge? This is a challenge for the Facebook, another challenge, another challenge, another challenge, which is not possible by the traditional relational database management system. So what is the solution now? The solution is Hadoop MapReduce. But what is happening with the Hadoop MapReduce? Hard to program, large programming we have to write, 400 to 500 lines, it requires time also. And users must and should aware of writing the programming language. And if the users know only SQL, well, in that case, what you are going to do is, the best solution is Hive. Now, the Facebook is making use of Hive to perform the queries. What the Hive is doing here, the Hive can able to do all these things. These are the things. Now, to provide the solution for this, Hive is making use of your, Hive is making use of it rather than the MapReduce code because we have a hard programming. So, to overcome that, we have a SQL like statement that is called the Hive query language. So, what you can do with the Hive query language? Tables can be partitioned and bucket. That is nothing but we can make a partitions. The tables can be or the tables can be bucketed so that I can keep some related data in one tables or one, one bucket or in one partitions. The Hive is having the facility of schema flexibility and evolution. Hive is having the facility to make plugin custom mappers and reducers. Hive is having the facility to make a JDBC ODBC driver connections. That is nothing but Java database connectivity and open database connectivity. So these drivers are available with the Hive. So people who are very good at Java, they want to make a connection to JDBC and ODBC. Those drivers are available in the Hive, so we can make use of it. And Hive tables can be defined directly into the HDFS. So previously what we used to do to perform the analysis using the MapReduce, we used to put our data sets in the HDFS. Even in the PIG also we used to put our data sets in the HDFS and we used to perform the analysis. But what is the Hive is saying is, in the Hive, whatever the tables are there that we can directly create in the HDFS itself. That is something but Hive tables can be defined directly into the HDFS. And the Hive is extensible, its types are extensible, its formats are extensible, its functions are extensible, its scripts can be extensible. So that is the story of the Hive from the Facebook. So now Facebook is making use of Hive to meet all these challenges rather than depending on the Hadoop MapReduce programming which is having a hard programming. So, Facebook is making use of Hive using all this facility to provide the solution for these challenges. So, this is one use case. So, we have seen one use case of Facebook for the Hive. Another use case for the Hive is healthcare sector. So, let us see, I am having data set and these data sets I have stored in the HDFS. Now when you are making use of Hive, Hive stores the data internally on HDFS directly you can make use of it and we can write the Hive script here and using the Hive script you can whatever the data present in the HDFS, we can read the data from the table present in the HDFS, we can write the script and using the script I can perform my analysis. For example, I am keeping all the patients of COVID-19 infected people and now I want to get the data. How many people got recovered within 10 days? How many people got recovered within 15 days? 
So all those data I kept here, I am writing my Hive script and I am getting the recovery that is nothing but within 10 days how many are recovered, within 14 days how many are recovered, how within after 10 days also how many people got more infection. So that kind of analysis I can make use of it. So we have seen two use, use cases with respect to the Hive that is using the Hive with the Facebook, using the Hive for the healthcare sector. Not only these two, Hive can be used for any number of areas. Now the question is where to use the Hive? So already I have told you two things, Hive is making use by the Facebook, Hive is making use in the healthcare sector also. In what else or what are the other areas where the Hive can be used? Hive can be make used in the data mining areas that is my application of the Hives we call as a Hive can be used for the log processing purpose, Hive can be make use for the document indexing purpose, Hive can be make use for the custom facing business intelligences and Hive applications can be make use for the predictive modeling hypothesis testing. I repeat it once again, where Hive can be used? Hive can be used in various ways as a applications that is data mining application, log processing applications, customer facing business intelligence, predictive modeling hypothesis testing and in the document indexing. So what are the important benefits of the Hive? What are the advantages of the Hive? These are the few important advantages. So Hive will be useful for people who are not good at programming background. That means I do not know much about the programming language, then how to handle the data present the HDFS and how to handle with the Hadoop. So for those people, Hive is a advantage because they can make use of SQL like statements and it is extensible and scalable to cope up with the growing volume and variety of data. So it is very advan advantage for the scalable and extensible data which is increasing in variety without affecting the performance of the system. And it is very important and useful for the ETL that is nothing but your extraction, transformation and loading tools. It can be acting as a, it is very efficient, the hive is very efficient uh, for the extraction, transformation, load that is called the ETL tool we call as a in a short. Hive supports any client application written in Java. This is the beauty of the Hive. So whatever the application written in Java, Hive is also supported by that also. And not only Java, it makes use of, P, supports PHP, Python, C++, Ruby, etc. That is called as a threat servers we call as that means we can make use of thrift servers which are going to see in the Hive architecture. That means in short and sweet, Hive supports the applications which are written in Java, C++, PHP, Python, etc. whatever it could be. And the last advantage is as the metadata information of Hive is stored in the RDBMS format, so significantly it reduces the time to perform semantic checks during the query execution. I repeat it once again. Since the Hive maintains this metadata in the form of a RDBMS, so to perform the semantic checks during the performing of during the execution of the query, it takes less time or it reduces the time. So these are the advantages of the Hive. The most important advantage is people who does not know Java programming, they can make or they can work with the Hadoop and HDFS data by using the Hive query language. Another most important is it can handle with the growing volume size data and variety of data and it is very efficient for the ETL tools and it supports the application written using the Java, C++, Python, PHP, etc. And whatever the metadata stored by the Hive is since it is making use of RDBMS mechanism, the semantic checks will be the, the, the time required to perform the semantic checks during the query analysis will be reduced. So these are the few advantages of the Hive. 
So, in short and sweet, in today's class, we have learned about what is the hive and in which fashion the hive is used in the Facebook and what are the applications uh, used by the hive or can be implemented at the hive. We have seen, we have seen the important advantages of the hive. So, in our next session, we are going to see how to see the hive practically. Thank you so much for listening to the class. We will meet in the next session. Thank you.